Hello, YouTubers. Welcome, welcome to Pete Diner, Royally Teachable Moments. We've got a good one for you today. Things I've always talked about. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone, listen. Harry is panicking. He is in a panic. He's in a panic to pay his bills. Harry can't pay his bills, and so now he is really freaking out. He's freaking out, and I've always said this. I've always said he is in a panic. He is in a dilemma. He is worrying like the average folk to pay his bills. The reality of normality, the, the reality of being just regular folk is finally starting to settle with this man and he's starting to see what it's like. <laughs> but, the, but the difference is, Otis, the difference is, is that he's trying to pay bills with millions and millions of dollars in the bank. And it's like he's trying to live this uber rich life. And that's the problem. And this uber rich life comes from this woman. So now what's happening is, is Harry has made a truce. Now this is all alleged information. Okay. Uh, it's come out that some people have been in con Otis. Some people have been in contact with Harry's people or someone has alleged this information that they have heard that he reached out to his brother saying that he's looking to make a truce. He's looking to, you know, what would he think about he and Ma Megan coming back to royal life and duties? William is saying that he has to think about it. And then he told Megan, <laughs> this girl had a, a hissy fit. She was just like, uh-uh, uh-uh, this is the problem. This is always going to be the problem for them. Try to, okay, I look, I knew I should have not put this lotion on. Otis, Otis, yeah, stop I'm trying to talk to the people. Okay, so this is what happened. So he is starting to wonder whether or not he made the right decision. He's even suggested to Megan that they return to London and the royal family. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine? This woman's eyes must have turned red. Her head turned around full circle. And she was like, what? What? Are you crazy? Do you think I am going to return to those people after everything that we have done? Oh, no. So Megan apparently was livid. She was livid. And uh, they said that it took her back when she learned that Harry, he had actually already reached out to William. Harry had admitted that he had phoned William uh, to call a truce, t told his brother that he and Megan would be open to going back to London. Um, you know, where they would serve the King Charles, King Charles. <laughs> okay. They are going to come back. They're going to, you know, do the right thing. We sorry. We sorry. <laughs> and William was like, um, okay, I'm going to have some requirements. Now this is me speaking. I'm so, some requirements. I want you to come in front of me. We're going to do a kneel before Zod moment. Kneel before Zod. <laughs> because I told you so. I told you so. Now, William was stunned, obviously, from this call. Um, he was, in, you know, the brothers we know have been on increasingly bad terms since the whole Mexit thing and the, all the revelations that Harry made in his book Spare and things that they said during the Netflix documentary. You know, even the whole just trying to get awards, winning awards. But Megan is so consumed with receiving these awards. So the, this whole thing around Harry and Megan, you know, trying to make it work here and seeing that it's on co a complete different trajectory than what, what they're doing over in England. So Megan, there's just absolutely no way she is going to want to go back full circle back to England to do something that she never really wanted to do from the beginning. She's doing what she's always wanted to do. But now they're seeing that it's not working. So Harry feels as though he and Megan are running out of options, says this insider. Now, despite the success of Spare and we know their Netflix documentary and all of that, 
Um, and then when Bill Simmons came out with this whole grifters comment, it really set the tone. And I've always said that they needed someone with a high profile to come out and to denounce the behavior of this couple for it to really take heed and for people to listen. And that's what happened when Bill Simmons actually came out and said what he said about them being grifters and not liking Harry and calling him a tool and all these different things. People were like, what, 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 you know, because of who he is. <laughs> That's why the works and the words of, of Oprah and the people that associate with Harry and Meghan, it is important for them to speak the truth, not think it behind the scenes, but to speak it so that people have the real insight on what this couple is trying to do, what she is trying to accomplish. And now people see it. They see it for what it really is. So and then we had the whole Jeremy Zimmer um, comment saying that, you know, she was not a great audio talent, nor necessarily any talent. He's setting the tone for her acting career moving forward. And they've got big people now denouncing them. So Harry's like, what are we going to do? How are we going to pay our bills? <laughs> especially because you keep running up the bills. You keep trying to make us have to pay so much for everything. And, and, and I think this is why Harry's thinking going back to Africa is the best option for him because he can actually do something away from the Hollywood limelight because he doesn't like the Hollywood limelight. You know, there are some good people, but the way it's run, the industry and what Megan is trying to break into, Harry does not like that. The work that goes into trying to meet and know the right people to get the big break that she's looking for, Harry is not about trying to go on that game with her. And this is why he's panicking. This is why he wants to have his butt over in Africa doing something meaningful. Now, they have also have no choice but to return to the UK where they can enjoy um, the perks that they once had because they're not going to get these perks living in America on their own trying to pay their bills. So Harry needs a plan B, says this insider. So Harry needs a plan B. And this is the other problem that, that they're running into is, is what if Charles says no? What if Charles says, no, keep your butt over in America, then they're going to really have a hard time. It's going to be really tough for them. But the problem is, is if he says no, then they, they've got mud on their faces and things are just not good. And they know that the public does not like them. There's going to be a lot of humility that they're going to have to show. And Megan doesn't want to show humility. She doesn't want to come back and look defeated. She is trying to win at all costs, all costs. And I think this is why Harry is not feeling it. He's trying to find a way out of this. He doesn't want to be here. He does not want to be here in America. He knows his title doesn't mean anything to us Americans. Us Americans, we looking at you like Prince, Prince Wood, Prince of Wood. <laughs> you know, Disneyland. We know Prince and Princess is over there, but not in America, America, like in the real world, America. <laughs> so he don't feel like he in the reality here as a prince because it don't mean nothing. I don't know that they'll take him back. I think they're at a moment of truth. And the only way to go back is to change your ways. The only way to go back is to humble yourself, so to speak, that you say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. <laughs> and we know that's not going to happen. And the other thing is, is they could go back, get more stories, get more juice, so to speak, and then take it back and sell it again to make more money because we know they made a lot of money with the book Spare, with the Netflix, because they sold out the Royals. So maybe it's a ploy to get back within the Royal circle, Circles, be nice and friendly, get some more gossip and scoop on what they're doing and then take it back and sell it again to make your money so you can pay your bills and the endless cycle starts all over again. So I don't think the king is going to take them back. I don't know that Harry is able to even go back now with his wife. The only option is to live your separate lives, go on your separate paths, and then both of you can be happy because you cannot be happy when what you're trying to do in each other's respective country doesn't work for both of you.
And this is the whole thing about this story. This story could have been put out by Megan's people. She could have planted this conversation. I don't know. It seems logical that Harry would make this phone call because I can imagine he is in a panic. I think maybe Harry did make this conversation. Maybe Megan did overhear it. She's the one planting this story as the insider. And I think it gives a legitimate cost to this actually happening because it would make sense for how they cannot move forward together as a couple anymore. So not knowing whether or not this story is true or not, but understanding that somebody within the inside circles of this couple or maybe knows information that they may have embellished could have happened. But realistically, I can see this conversation happening. I can see this as a position that they would be in not being able to handle paying their bills here in America. It's, it seems very logical. It's not left field. It seems very much like this could be something that has happened because the only logical choice is to show humility, humble yourself and say, I'm sorry and go back. That's really the only option for them. So this conversation seems very likely to me. We will see in time whether or not it was just like all the other things we have seen in time have come to reveal themselves. Because remember, there are a lot of people in circles that know what's going on with this couple. I'm myself in contact with someone that knows someone that knows someone around this couple. So, you know, it's not too far fetched. People will speak, people will say things. And this seems very logical. I think this is the reality of their situation, but I can't say that this is the actual conversation that happened, but it seemed very likely to me <laughs> because Harry, oh yes, he's panicking to pay his bills. You best be believing that.